Not another one. Yes, ma'am. What is this? Uh, I don't know. Honestly, can you believe that? Uh, uh, where do you want me to put these? Oh, I don't know. Just put it anywhere. No, I will take take it away with you. I don't want another one of those things. And just wait a second. You can take it down. With you. But, but, but everything's paid for. Yes, I don't care. Just take it, all of it. What? Take it out. But, I want you to take it out, please. But, yes, out. You can take this one, too. This one. Take it out. Okay. Yes, come in. Uh, I just felt the earth move. Something wrong? No, nothing, there's nothing, it's not personally, it's something with me, that's all. Well, I've been down in supplies, filling out some paperwork for my gun and my badge. Thought I'd come by and see how you were doing after seeing Buzz. I've got the utmost faith in Tony. I'm holding on to that. Do you want to sit down? Sure. Is there, uh, something going on here? Well, yes. Actually, the Mayor Morgan came by earlier, a little while ago. Don't tell me he's changing his mind after all his kind words last night and turning on you. No, he's not. Not yet. However, the council have voted his new uh, project for revitalizing the waterfront. He wants to clean it up. He wants it to be colorful, but he wants it to be free from crime. I see. Get rid of some places and keep some places. Yeah. Well, we know the waterfront water, and there's some nice places and there's some bad places. Yes. How do we tell the good places from the bad? Come in. Anna, do you have a minute? I'd like to wrap up a few loose ends before I hit the streets with Frisco. I understood. Well, there's nothing to understand. I promised Robert I'd help Frisco, and I figured this was the best no, no, way. No, 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 no. I, I'm not thinking about Frisco. It's uh, someone else. Oh? Well, uh, would you uh, like to tell me what's on your mind? Um, it's, it's uh, Duke Lavery. I can't seem to make any sense of the man. Well, I don't know him, but uh, if I were you, I'd stay clear of him. Oh, believe me, I've tried. However, he won't afford me that luxury. Oh? These arrived from him this morning. Well, nobody can say he doesn't have style. You're not to mention a very presumptuous nature. He has no reason to send me flowers. I hardly know the man. Well, my guess is that uh, he'd like to know you a little better. Well, I don't know why. We have nothing in common. Well, did you uh, come up with any information on Lavery? No, not yet. Um... However, I did put in a request through the WSB, so we should be getting something soon. Well, maybe you'll come up clean and you have nothing to worry about. Yes, nothing but an overly ardent suitor. <laughs> Worst things have happened to women. I suppose so. Anna, I uh, wanted to talk to you about the crime problem on the waterfront. Anna, the waterfront crime problem? Yes, that's right. You promised Mayor Morgan we were going to try and clean it up. Mm. Yes? There's someone here to see you, Chief. A Jimmy Lee Holt. He says it's important. Send him in right away. Oh, Mark. Oh, Why don't you come in? Mr. Levy, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, Anna. I tried to talk them out of it. Talk them out of what? I'm sorry for the intrusion, Chief Devane. I'm Harry Carlton. I'm representing Angel Moran. He's suing you for false arrest. trying to tell you there is no reason for a loss my client has been publicly humiliated for no apparent reason now someone has to pay for that we've already decided to drop the charges mr moran can go pick up his bail money and go back to doing whatever it is he does that's easy for you to say i'm sure chief devane is sorry for acting so rashly she just made a bad decision so easy to make these days that's not enough we as citizens can't allow this sort of travesty to continue. A fine, upstanding person like Mr. Moran is hauled into jail like some sort of common criminal. 
What happened to innocent until proven guilty? We only brought him in for questioning. His civil rights were never at question. We'll let a jury decide that. But I know Chief Devane is sorry for her mistakes. I also know she would like to apologize. I mean, after all, such an apology could save the city a great deal of embarrassment, not to mention a messy lawsuit. Go ahead, Chief. Apologize. <sighs> I'm, uh, I'm very sorry for whatever it is you think I did. Very nicely put, wouldn't you say, gentlemen? Yeah. Well, it, uh, it wasn't much. But I guess it's better than having my good name dragged through the courts. I'm sorry to hear that, Mr. Moran. You had a very good case. But now that we've got that behind us, let's go outside and see if we can arrange for you to get a refund on your bail money. Come on. You gentlemen go on ahead. I'll catch up with you. Okay. I'm sorry you don't like flowers. Oh, I love flowers. I just can't accept them from you. Oh, that's too bad. You better get used to it, because I intend to keep sending them. You are infuriating. That's good. I like to bring out the passion of a woman. And by the way, I know how sorry you were about breaking the last one. Thank you. 